Bună ziua! Bine ați venit la o lecție de limba engleză din complet. Mai întâi ne abonăm și după ce apăsăm clopoțelul de abonat, facem o captură de ecran paginilor pe care le vom lucra astăzi. <coughs> Mai întâi aceste două pagini. Și apoi aceasta. Gata? Să începem să lucrăm. <coughs> It's my favorite sport. Reading part 3. Read the text carefully, then underline the parts that give you the answers. Exam advice. Running and blogging by Holly Persons. Everyone in my family enjoys running, including me. But it's sometimes hard for me to find someone to run with. <coughs> My brother and I sometimes run together, but he's much faster than me. And my dad's too busy to come at the moment. So, my best running partner these days is my cousin Mandy. We go almost every day. It's great. We don't go running when it's raining. But I still want to keep fit on those days. So I go to the gym or I play badminton with mom. And sometimes I swim in the local pool. That's what I like most. I like the most. I also write a blog about running. I began writing it because I liked writing posts about where I go running, how I feel when I run, and the kids of kit I like wearing. The kinds, sorry, and the kinds of kit I like wearing. <coughs> Now, lots of people follow my blog and they give me great advice. Some even say they started running after reading my blog. So that's great. Of course, not all my friends are interested in running. So I don't ask them to come with me. But they can see it's really important to me. And they always want to know about my latest runs. So that's nice. I'd like to improve my running. So I can enter more races. I've done some local races, but I've never won anything. But that doesn't matter. I'd really like to try a 25 kilometers race soon. Everyone says it's hard, but we'll see. <coughs> Exercise number one. Who does Holly usually go running with? The correct answer is A, her cousin. Number two, what is Holly's favorite way to keep fit when the weather is bad? Going to the gym, also A, or playing badminton with her mother, let her see. She does those two sports. Number three. Why did Holly start writing a blog about running? A. To share her experiences of running. <coughs> Number four. Holly says that her friends C. 
see don't really understand why she runs. Number five, what does Holly want to do next? C. Run in a difficult competition. Grammar, comparatives and superlatives. Fill in the table with the correct comparative and superlative forms. Big, bigger, the biggest. Heavy, heavier, the heaviest. Hard, harder, the hardest. Exciting, more exciting, the most exciting. Cheap, cheaper, the cheapest. Expensive, more expensive, the most expensive. Good, better, the best. Bad, worse, the worst. The next page, exercise 1b. <clears throat> now, complete the sentences with the correct form of the adjectives from exercise 1a. A tennis ball is heavier than a table tennis ball. That's very light. Number 2. This sport center is the most expensive I've ever been to. It costs a lot to get in. John is better at basketball than me. He's in the school team and I'm not. Number four. I think football is more difficult to play or harder to play than other sports because there are lots of rules. I bought number five, I bought a cheap racket in the shop because I didn't have much money. Number six. Snowboarding is much harder than skating. That's boring. Prepositions of time, at, in, on. Exercise number two. Write at, in, or on where necessary. Some words don't need a preposition. Number one, tomorrow. Number two, on a Saturday. Number three, in summer. Number four, at night. Number five, at 10.30 p.m. Number six, in 20 and 10. Number seven, yesterday. Number eight, on Friday afternoon. Number nine, in the weekend. Number 10, next week. Exercise number 3. Exam candidates often make mistakes with prepositions of time. Correct the mistakes in each of these sentences. We will go on the 5th October in the evening. Number 2. I'm free in Monday afternoon. The correct one is I am free on Monday afternoon. Number three, I am arriving 6.30 p.m. The correct one is I am arriving at 6.30 p.m. Number four, we can meet in five o'clock. 
The correct one is we can meet at 5 o'clock. Number 5. I had a nice time in my birthday. The correct one is I had a nice time on my birthday. Number 6. On the first day, you should take a notebook. The correct one is in the first day, you should take a notebook. Listening part 4. Look carefully at each question and the options A, B and C before recording starts. For each question, choose the correct answer. You'll hear a boy talking to his friends about sports day at school. Why does he feel sad about it? He didn't win the race. Number two. You will hear a girl talking to her friend about her new tennis rocket. What does she say about it? It was quite expensive. Number three. You will hear a boy telling a friend about his winter sports holiday. Which activity did he like best? Snowboarding. Number four. You will hear a girl phoning her mom. Where is the girl now? At the park. Number five. You will hear a boy phoning a friend about the hockey match they are playing in. Why does he think their team may win the match? They've done lots of practice. Let's turn off the page and we study this one. Vocabulary, do, play and go with sports. Put the letters in the right order to make the, say, the name of a sport. Then circle do, play or go. Play basketball. Go climbing. Play hockey. Do judo, play football, do gymnastic, play badminton. Exercise number two, complete the sentences with the correct form of the verb do, play or go. Josh can't come to our house, he's playing tennis this evening. Number two. Maria does karate at the sports center every Monday afternoon. Number three. My parents sometimes play badminton together. Number four. <coughs> I go ru I'm going running with my cousin tonight. Number five. My teacher often goes cycling at the weekends. <coughs> <coughs> Number six. Would you like to do gymnastics with me next week at the sports center? Or would you like to go gymnastics with me? There are two possibilities. Nationalities, exercise number three. Complete the sentences with the nationalities. Luisa is from Spain. She's Spanish. Adriano is from Portugal. He's Portuguese. Ravi is from India. He's Indian. Arneta is from Sweden. She's Swedish. Yumi is from Japan. She's Japanese. 
Nikos is from Greece. He is Greece. Olivia is from Australia. She is Australian. Josh is from the USA. He is American. Writing part 6. Look carefully at the verbs in the text. Example ask, say, tell. These tell you what to include in your answer. Exam advice. Complete the email with the missing words. I've got tickets to see a hockey match. It's on Saturday, 16th January. Would you and your sister like to come with me? The match is on the stadium in town. It starts at 2.30 p.m. in the afternoon. Let me know. Write you soon. Exercise number two. Now write an answer to this exam text. Task, you would like to go to the new sports center in your town. Write an email to your English friend Olivia. Invite Olivia to come with you. Tell Olivia when you can go. Say what you can do at the sports center. Hi Olivia. Can you come with me to the sports center that opened yesterday in my district? We can go there together at 2 p.m. tomorrow and uh, we can play tennis and also badminton and table tennis there. Keep me in touch. Let me know if you agree. Write me soon. Bye for now. Dana. Vă mulțumesc pentru participare. Vă amintesc că pe acest canal găsiți lecții de limba română și lecții de limba engleză. Dacă v-au fost de folos exercițiile, vă rog să lăsați un like și nu uitați să vă abonați dacă n-ați făcut-o deja. La revedere!